Hi friends, if you are using any of these products, please stop. They do not add any value to your skin. And in fact, they just increase the amount of time and money of your skincare routine. In this video, we're gonna talk about the products that you absolutely do not need in your skincare routine because they are a waste of money, but I'm always gonna give you alternatives that will add value to your skin. So if that sounds good, keep watching. Hello everyone, for anyone new, I'm Dr. Alexis. I am a board certified dermatologist practicing in South Florida. And in this video, I'm gonna show you products that you can eliminate from your skincare routine and things that you can use instead that will actually add value to your skincare routine. The first one being a separate hyaluronic acid serum. Guys, hyaluronic acid is already in the majority of your products. If you go to the cabinet and you look at the ingredients list, also known as the inky list on the back, you're gonna see hyaluronic acid. It may be written as sodium hyaluronate, but it's in most of the products already. You certainly don't need a separate hyaluronic acid serum. So what I would suggest is if you like hyaluronic acid and the plumping effect or the hydrating effect that it can add to your skin, just make sure you're using a product that already has it. You don't need a separate one when you use hyaluronic acid make sure that you mist your face first whether this is with like a thermal spring water or just regular water that you've used from cleansing your skin make sure it's damp then apply your hyaluronic acid and cap it with a moisturizer if you don't do that all of the hydration that you're trying to get to go within the skin is just going to whoop, fly right out of the epidermis and back into the environment and actually dry you out so a lot of people find irritation when they use hyaluronic acid and they don't even know why they are irritated. And it is because they're using too much hyaluronic acid. It's found in all of their products. They're not misting or making sure their skin is damp prior and then they don't cap it with a moisturizer or something that is occlusive. So again, don't need a separate serum. If you are gonna use a product with hyaluronic acid, make sure it's already something that's in a well-balanced moisturizer. One of the ones that I really like, this one here, Vici 89, has 15 minerals in their volcanic thermal spring water. Some of those minerals are actually anti-aging. They have been proven to actually have healing benefits to the skin and repair the skin barrier. It has the glycerin, it has the sodium hyaluronate, but that thermal Vici volcanic water is what makes the difference. So if you're looking for something that is going to have it, but not just be plain old hyaluronic acid, it is one that I would recommend. Product and number two that I would definitely not waste my money on are sheet masks. I know guys, you on the IG, you see everybody with their hashtag self-care Sundays, but if you're gonna do a mask, do one that makes sense. Sheet masks just sit on the skin and they're supposed to provide hydration to the skin. This is the most temporary effect ever. You are much better giving yourself long-term hydration by using an appropriate moisturizer. So what I would do is dampen the skin, put on my moisturizer. If you're really dry, you can actually add a little bit of oil to your moisturizer and then apply it to the skin. Do this every day for long-term consistency and that's gonna hydrate your skin a whole lot better than just a little 15 minute sheet mask that's not even that occlusive. This is especially true for the woven or the hydrogel sheet mask. At least the biocellulose ones have some possibility of getting the active ingredients into the skin. Think of the sheet mask as the same way as you think of the Lululemons or the Gymshark exercising pants. When you go into the gym, you wanna put on the pants that make you feel really good. They zip everything in and then you go to exercise in the hopes that you're gonna get this lovely, magical, flat stomach six pack afterwards. The pants are an illusion that that is happening and then you take them off and everything goes back to normal. Whereas a hydrating sheet mask is basically an illusion. It makes you feel like you have hydrated your skin and you are now more moisturized but my friends you take it off you wash off all of the active ingredients and all of the moisture just returns to where it was before it's the same principle that i always preach consistency is key if you go to the gym and you properly exercise every day and you eat right you'll get the aesthetic or the flat tummy that you're looking for if you do your skincare routine every day and you choose a proper moisturizer, you will get that moisturized skin and overall skin health and balance that you are looking for. 
There are some face masks out there that are worth using and those would be the ones that are like the clay or the charcoal mask that really help to draw out impurities into the skin that you wouldn't want to leave on for a long time because it would lead too much dryness or irritation on the skin. So I'm not saying that all masks serve no purpose, but these little sheet masks that are supposed to hydrate your skin, they don't do it my friends. Get you some regular moisturizer that will actually repair your skin barrier and properly moisturize. Product number three that you absolutely do not need in your skincare routine are toners. Toners, my friends, are unnecessary. Every patient that I have come into the office brings a toner with them or they show me a toner on their phone as part of the essentials of their skincare routine. These are not essential. These are a waste of your time, your money, and your energy. Toners were formulated to help cleanse the skin, remove excess dirt, oil, debris, and impurities, and further pH balance the skin. My friends, cleansers are now pH balanced to be skin friendly. They are no longer too alkaline, so you don't have to worry about pH balancing your skin again. And if your cleanser didn't remove your dirt, your oil, your debris, the impurities of the day, it means you need a better cleanser. It doesn't mean you need a toner. Nowadays, a lot of things are marketed as toners because they want you to feel like you actually need them, but they're actually not toners. They're more like essence. I like essence. I actually use essence sometimes in my skincare routine. But to me, an essence is just more of a watery-like serum. You use an essence if it has ingredients that are actually going to add to your routine that are not already found in your other products. For example, you guys know I am the queen of antioxidants. I love to incorporate antioxidants into my skincare routine whenever I can. So I use a very heavy, clinically formulated, backed by science essence that is full of antioxidants by Kills. I actually will link it somewhere here and down below, but it is magical. And I can't find those ingredients in any other product, and that is why I use an essence. But even an essence is not essential. I wouldn't say it's a waste of your money if it's adding benefit in an ingredient that you don't have somewhere else, but it's not essential. Product number four is not only non-essential, but it can actually be harmful. The DIY powder products beg the question of safety and efficacy. The likelihood that someone without a cosmetic chemistry background being able to formulate these properly to have the appropriate strength, pH, stability, and bioavailability in their bathroom is extremely unlikely. However, the probability of using the wrong ratio of ingredients and causing serious side effects or irritation on the skin is extremely high. This is a hard pass for me. All right, my friends, so the takeaway is that you don't need every skincare product under the sun. Choose skincare products that are rooted in science and not aesthetics and marketing. I hope that this video helped you. If so, please give it a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel if you are not. And until next time, be well.